Hey guys, it's Michelle. Thank you so much for joining. I'm a former client advisor for Louis Vuitton. Today's video is totally unscripted. I just wanted to do a comparison with my eyeballs. So if you have been subscribed to my channel and thank you so much, if not, hit that subscribe button. Anyways, you would already know that I own a very, very vintage Speedy. She's about 30 years old. I just love her to death. She also has a fake friend here and most people cannot tell the difference between the fake friend and the real girl. So I'm just gonna go through here, like I said, totally unscripted, and see what type of differences that I might see between the two bags. Now, first of all, just feeling the canvas of fake friend here, she feels really nice. And I say that compared to like some of the fakes that people are used to, you're, if you see a really fake bag, you know, because that bag would most likely be a vinyl bag with the monogram print on it. Also, one thing to note is see the color is different. However, in the store, the colors of the monograms are always different depending on the dye lot. So I've seen that debate online before too. Why does this look green and why does this look yellow? But if I take my, my real deal girl to like one of my friend's monograms, the color of the print, even the color of like canvas, it's just going to have slight differences. So one is a bandiole and one is the, I guess the regular, the non-bandiole. Okay, the reason why the bandiole exists, you see how this has two strips of leather down the side? That was an addition for you people who are trying to make this doctor bag into a crossbody bag. It doesn't work if you attach a crossbody strap here. So now what you're going to get is tension on these two that are going to pull this way, which is not the way the bag was intended to be worn. So the leather pieces here just add a reinforcement. So now if you're gonna crossbody this gal, her weight is distributed so that you don't risk wear and tear on the shapes. All right, so just FYI, give me a little education on the bag. Now, if you have cheapy bags at home, do whatever you want with it. But when I see people like modifying their Vuittons, I'm like, oh God, just, just buy a crossbody bag for that purpose, you know? Some differences to your regular Speedy is going to have a metal tab and then two tabs here. So you're meant to lock the Speedy right over here on this side, okay, with, with the leather tabs yeah i know that's not so secure if you're carrying your hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of diamonds and someone steals your bag they can just cut through the tabs now on the bandiole version see the zipper should meet in the middle and it has this little opening where it folds down on itself you see that loop right there some people walk around with the lock through here that's incorrect it should lie, lie flat see not this one but this one that is where you're going to put your lock to lock your Speedy. Yes, the lock is a different color from the zipper. So this is my old lock. Each lock and key, each lock has its specific key. So this has a number on it. No other lock should open it. Okay, let me just show you for comparison. And uh, yes, they are different. The newer ones, I would say, yes, are definitely more like this. This bag, she's now an antique. So you can see the hardware too. I would say it has some brass in it. So that's what we've been told. And I do believe it just the weight of it definitely feels more metal than the newer styles. I know I'm not comparing a newer style, but this is pretty darn close to what a newer style would look like. Okay, some of the other differences see my old hardware. It's got this tarnish to it. I can shine it up, but the newer bags, they are going to be like this. They are not brass. They are just gold plated. Now, some of the things here that I would say is like, hmm, a little questionable. This red, red glazing on fake friend here. Now, I'm not gonna not deny this. This is beautiful work, but it is shinier, definitely shinier and glossier than the real deal. So if anyone's trying to sell you fakey fake, these are just some things to look out for. But here, here's my advice. If you're gonna buy fake, just buy fake. If you're gonna try to buy pre-loved off uh, Facebook or something, I don't trust those people. Some of you even like ask me, does, does all the printing and the stamping match 100%? And I'm not gonna go there. I'm not gonna answer that because I'm like, are you trying to do something shady? Who are you trying to fool? If you're gonna buy a bag for you, for you to use, like, you know, do that. But the fine details, like you shouldn't be trying to 
fake anybody into buying a bag. Other things to note, I don't know if they've changed it, honestly. One, two, three, four, five stitches in my vintage bag. So that's five. And then one, two, three, four, five across here. And in the shorter area, it's four. Now in this girl, you can see the stitching is tighter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, I guess seven and a half. So the number of stitches is different. So after I shot the video, I had to look at the website just to see. You can see the comparison. The glazing should be dark like this and not a clear red like Ms. Fake Friend. There is a tiny bit of glazing around these Vachetta pieces and here and here, but it's very distinctly different. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So in the Speedy B, it looks like there are eight stitches. So Fake Friend did come close. Look at this glazing though here on the edge. It's not bright red. It's more like a dark brown and not nearly as much glazing as Fake Friend. So those are some things to look at. Also, it's really hard to tell in the picture, but I would be comparing the yellowness of both the thread and the hardware. Okay, other things to look at. Let's open the bag. Now they have changed the insides from when I was an advisor. So this one is light brown and it just has this pouch here. It's opening. Now the newer ones, they do indeed have a zipper. I do not think the pieces are glazed inside the real deal. You know, whoever made this bag, they went all out and they just said, every piece of bachetta is gonna be glazed. Now inside it does have the loop, just like, um, oh, I was gonna say just like the real deal, except my bag doesn't have that loop, but I do recall the bags do have that loop. Now, because of that, if you buy the real deal in store, because I think it's that one where you cannot print an initial on that particular shape because of that loop that's back there, you can't get it into the machine flat. So you can only put an initial on this girl here because that's the only one that doesn't have something behind it. The other two has a pocket behind it. Just FYI, you can't put like one initial on each shape. People have asked, people have tried, and the answer is no. Everything else is pretty darn well made because even the button in here has the Vuitton stamp. Now, the only thing I'm gonna look for here, which I have the hardest time finding the date code on any stinking bag in there because they're always imprinted so lightly and in some place you couldn't see. But here is the date code. So FYI guys, the date code is not a serial code. It is not a serial number. You are not buying a car. You are not buying an iPhone. It does not have a vehicle identification number. It's just a handbag. So your code here tells you the factory and the date that the bag was made. This has an old one uh, because this bag is so old, the, co the code is a little different and it's actually quite worn off. Okay, so at the time of the microchips, there are bags that don't have codes anymore, okay? But here's the thing, you cannot scan it. It's not gonna track your bag down. It's not going to say if it's real or not, none of that. But what the microchips do with their technology, they track things like the suppliers of the materials of the bag. This is not information that the public is supposed to know or like you're not even gonna find that, okay? I think there's people have scanned it and it gives you a bunch of numbers, but not even the sales associates know what type of information is supposed to come out of that, that ship. That is for Vuitton and honestly, I don't know what, what they do with that info. So let's fold it down. She came to me all upright, but the Speedy meant to be flattened. Flat, flat, flat and then pop it up when you are, when you need to use it, pack it away flat. So that is how your Speedy will be presented to you in the store and the box for the Speedy is gonna be about this big and it's gonna be flat, a flat square and you're gonna look at it like, what the heck, where is my Speedy? So here's your Speedy, that's how it will be presented to you. So the strap here, it is a two piece strap. That is correct, I don't think the, Real deal, shoulder strap has this red of a glaze, to be honest. <laughs> but like I said, despite, well, this is a beautifully done, beautifully done piece. 
Like if they just said, glaze everything Vachetta, then they did a good job. So I'm gonna put this girl on. Uh, I don't like this BD as a crossbody. She's just too bulky. However, if I'm at the airport and I do wanna carry my Speedy because it carries a lot, I will most likely take Fake Friend because now I can crossbody her. I've gotta put like my like my no noise canceling earbuds and my hand sanitizer and everything I would need for travel is more convenient here. And then I'm less likely to have it snatched out of my hands or um, having to put on the ground or anything like that. Plus, I'm not gonna take my precious stuff on vacation just for safety reasons. She's gonna stay at home. Alrighty, so last thing, uh, I love to wrap the handles. So I just did a short where I explain that if you have a vintage bag that is fully patinaed, like this girl here, then it is okay to take your leather conditioner, put a little bit on a microfiber cloth, and give her a little polish all over from canvas to leather to handle. You don't have to make it too wet. Just a little polish. It's like putting lotion on the bag, okay? But if you have a new girl that has not fully patinaed, so this actually came to me white, white. Oh, here, I'll show you the difference since I just opened the strap. This has been sitting out for about, I'd say two months, and you can see the color difference. But when I received her, this is how white the leather actually is. So she is going to change color. What I am not going to do here, and not even here, because she's not done yet, see? This is fully baked. This is like, uh, fourth of the way, and this is brand new. Do not touch this girl with this. Do not spray it. You might like spray it in one part where there's too much concentrate of spray. So anything that's liquid will make this go darker, okay? And, or it could cause a water stain or water spot and nothing can be done about that. So if you are in the boutique and, or if you're online or you're asking Apple Guard, as a client advisor, they never, 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 ever, Apple Guard was never recommended. What was recommended? Just leave her alone and don't put her in the hot sun. Just don't risk it. It is supposed to patina. It is never gonna stay this white. So don't freak out. I know people wanna keep their bags looking brand new, but look at my old bag here. She looks like luggage. She feels like luggage. That's the way it was intended to be, to travel with you on your journey. And then this goes to my daughter. So this was my mom's bag and then it goes to my daughter, okay? So a spray is not recommended, but what we do recommend, get yourself one of these pretty bandeaus uh, or two of them, because I wrap the handles. You won't believe how dirty your hands get. So when you hold that, even if you think they're clean, okay? But are you washing your hands every 10 minutes? Probably not. So you wanna wrap the handles with, I've got some new scarves here I wanted to show you. Some new bandos that I got on Amazon. Look at this beautiful butterfly one. So I'll put that link in this, the description. She's gonna go alongside the other handle of the Speedy. So I'm putting those two together. They don't have to be matchy matchy, but the teal and purple, they complement each other. You can see there's some teal in the butterflies. So guys, I hope you learned something in this video. I'm gonna link below where all these things are from. Uh, where you can get a vintage Speedy. Definitely get them authenticated. Don't buy them from some place where that might be questionable. So I just told you the things that might be questionable. I hope you listen to me. And again, I do not authenticate, so don't send me any messages regarding that, okay? Alrighty guys, my name is Michelle. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I see that only 20% of you guys are subscribed, but you're watching and I thank you for watching, but go ahead and subscribe. And if you wanna support me even more, be sure to join my membership channel where um, I give more little tidbits of unboxings and other stuff. Thank you guys for joining. Talk to you soon. Bye.